God must come and, and fellowship with you because you are calling his name. This is the same thing that God did when he, when the book of Genesis, when God had a meeting with, with Adam and Eve. He's, and the Bible said, God come down every day in the cool of the day to fellowship with Adam and Eve. And the Bible said, when, when Adam fell, Adam was not in, a, in his position. The Bible began to tell us that God began to call his name and say, Adam, where are you? It is the same thing when we go into our secret place you you supposed to call on the name of the Lord and say God where are you so when we read when we read first Chronicle 21 26 the Bible say David begin to call on the name of God and the Bible and the Bible begin to tell us that God answered David by fire so that so it is not just it is not just Elijah that God answered him by fire and when we see the book of first Chronicle 21 26 God answered David by fire so when you when you when you when you setting when you say when you keeping your altar keep on burning when you keep your other altar on fire your prayer room on fire god is gonna answer you by fire so if you're spending time every day at the altar you're gonna set it on fire and when god come down god is gonna answer you by fire so remember fire is is is, is, is the is the components that burn things down so anything so when god comes answer you by fire it is called holy fire so holy fire is fire that burns every negative things in our life. So when we lay at the floor and God show up, he begins to burn things that we, we're not supposed to have in our lives. So now, so now there is a purification that is taking place where God is purifying your life and removing everything that's not supposed to be there. So when you go in your secret place, you got to learn to offer a burnt offering, a peace offering, and a grand offering. What begins to happen, your grain offering, then he begins to bless you.